Superbase limits the number of emails you can send to only 4 per hour. That's definitely not enough if you're launching your app. You also can't use a custom domain name for your brand. Nobody wants to see do not reply at superbase.com in their inbox. Don't worry, watch this video to learn the simplest, most straightforward and effortless way to send emails with your own custom domain using Resend right now. Alright, so the first thing that you have to do is you have to set up an account in Resend. And once you have successfully set up an account, you should be brought to this dashboard page over here. The next step that we have to do is we have to go over to domains over here and we have to connect our own custom domain inside this domains page over here to resend. As you already see, I've already connected my own domain, just xilotto.com, to resend over here. If you have trouble connecting your own custom domain to resend, you can click on this right hand corner over here to the docs. And you can scroll down, you can scroll down all the way to domains. And you can follow all of these instructions over here inside the recent documentations on how to connect your own custom domain. But just a quick rundown, what you have to do is that you have to copy and paste all of these DNS records such as mx send txt send txt resend dot domain key and txt dmark and copy the value as well as the priority all to your domain hosting website. And once you're done, you'll click on this top button over here, which should say verify for you. And once you have successfully verified your domain, you should see a status of verified over here. If you'd like to see a separate video and a, a tutorial on how exactly to connect your domain, do leave it down in the comments below and I'll be sure to make one right away. Alright, so now that you have successfully connected your custom domain to resend, the next thing that we have to do is that we have to go over to API keys over here and we have to create an API key in order to connect to Superbase. So we'll just simply tap on this create API key button and we'll give our API key a name. As for the permissions over here, since we're only sending emails, we'll just click on sending access. If you'd like to learn more about the difference between full access and sending access, you can hover your mouse over this information button over here and it will tell you exactly what are the differences. As for the domains, we'll just click on the one that we have just connected. And now we'll simply click on add and it should add a new API key for us. Be sure to store this API key in a safe and secure place. And make sure not to lose this API key as we can only view it once. So we just click on done, and you can see that the new API key has been added over here. And now that we have generated our API key, we can move over to our Superbase project. And on the left hand column over here, we'll want to go to project settings. And we'll go to authentication under configuration. And then we'll scroll down all the way to SMTP settings. And you should see that currently the enable custom SMTP is turned off, and we'll just turn it on. Now we'll input some data. For the sender details, we'll give our sender email over here. So this is the email address that you want to send the email from. And now for the sender name, this is the name that is displayed in the recipient's inbox. And now moving on to the SMTP provider settings. For our host, we can find it over in our resend dashboard. We can go to settings, SMTP, and it'll be this host name over here. So we'll just copy that and paste it over here. Now for the username as well as the password, it is also found in our SMTP settings in resend. So the username will be this over here. And as for the password, it will be our API key that we have generated just now. So now that we have entered all the necessary data, we can just click on save. And you can see that it successfully updated our SMTP settings over here. Alright, so that's basically it. Now we can try testing it out in our Flutterflow app. So over here, I have a basic Flutterflow app with a forgot and reset password function and it allows the user to reset their password by sending them an email to their email address to reset their password. So let's just try launching the app and see if we have successfully integrated Resend with Superbase. Alright, so let's say I forgot my password and I want to reset my password. So in this forgot password page, I'll just type in my email address that I want the email to be sent to. And I can click on send link. And a password reset email has been sent. 
and you can see that a new email has been sent from Joel, which was the sender name that I specified. And if I click on the email, you can see that it has been sent by my custom domain over here. So now I can click on the reset password link. And it should bring me to my reset password page. So let's say I want to enter my new password, which is password 1234. And I can click on reset password. And oops, unfortunately, the new password was the same as my old password. Okay, but let's just try a new password. Let's say 123456. And if we try resetting our password, you can see that there's a success snack bar over here, and our password has been successfully reset. Let's just try signing in with our new password. And once we sign in, we are brought to the home page. And there you have it. We have successfully integrated Resend with Superbase. And now we are able to send our own customized emails using our own custom domain name. If you'd like to learn how to create a forgot and reset password function in your own Flutterflow apps, check out this video over here. You don't want to miss it. Alright, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.